Hi everyone, Kyle here from Bostic Family Light Show. On today's video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how we were able to set up the Gilbert Engineering Flying Bats. And we've seen a few people post asking how to get them to set up and things like that. On the Gilbert Engineering site, it shows this little demo sequence of the wings going up and down. When you go into the Layout tab, you can go down to the Prop and they have their own submodels. Gilbert Engineering include this wing up and this wing down submodel. In order to use these, you would have to have an on effect where you want the wings to be up, a down effect where you want them to be off, and basically alternate going back and forth. That is going to be extremely tedious, so what we did is we created our own submodel. We have the wings up and the wings down and you can see we're skipping a bunch of pixels in the middle here we created a different submodel for the body plus we included the shared pixels some of the pixels for the wings up are also used for the wings down so we included these in the body and then we created a few different groups we have just the bodies and then we have the wings and then we also created a few different groups that we're going to use as a mask. So we created our all group and we're calling this one all mask. So we can go over to our sequence and we basically added all of our effects to this new all mask group instead of the all. Um, we did the same thing for our all house. Um, we created a few different groups with this mask. And then what we can do is if you want the bats to be in the entire sequence, you can add simple bar effects. And if you make the duration a little shorter, you can then individually kind of adjust where the wings will flap faster or slower. So when you click on the bars effect, you have to configure this very specifically. Thank you to Michael Uez for helping me figure this one out. We created the palette rep to be three. The cycles we had to adjust in order to get the bats to flap their wings at the particular speed we wanted them to flap at. And then, very important, we had to select a particular color here. It didn't really matter. I used white, but you have to select black. That will basically black out the pixels when they're not in use. And then, we went into the layer blending and we set the bars effects to be one is true unmask. And then we went into the layer settings and we had to set them under the render style to vertical stack. This will allow the bats to flap their wings and because they are using a unmask, what will happen is it will actually get all of the color from the groups that are listed at the top. So when you click on this, you can see they are white. You would think that it is because of this. We can change this to green, click update, and there still is no effect on the color. It is getting that information from one of the groups above. But if we were to change the black to be something else like blue, now you can see it is totally broken. So if you go back and you do two different colors, as long as black is one of the ones affected, then the wings will flap correctly. If you want them to flap their wings faster, slower if you want to skip it you know you could just totally remove the effect totally up to you but this will give you a little more flexibility so you can see that the wings are now going a little faster than they were before so you can just kind of play with this you don't have to have them going on throughout the entire song if you guys have any questions or need a further breakdown of this let me know um, I also want to say thanks to the x -Lights Training Nuggets for all their explanation of the different render styles and layer blending. Those are super helpful. Thanks, guys.